The Myth of Nutrition and Fitness. Also, with a quick review, we got this book three stars. Maybe even give it a four eventually. Because it's very short, very, very short, I would say. It's an hour and a half, I think, worth of listening. It's great. A good time. And also the lessons are mostly, the lectures are very good, very informative, and straight to the point. I haven't had, I haven't taken many notes, but it was kind of interesting. I haven't, haven't touched, that's when I'm more likely to give it a three, maybe, because it's a... Uh, it's not a very broad view, so he has only like three, four topics. So it's not very broad. He goes maybe a little bit too deep into one of them and doesn't touch other myths. Let's see some of the notes. More than one grams of protein per pound becomes toxic. So there is a limit, an upper limit of how much protein is good. It's about one gram per pound. Natural doesn't mean safe. Not everything that is natural is necessarily safe. When at higher altitudes, we need to drink more water since we're losing more water as it dries up more quickly in higher altitudes. Just a drier, I guess. For best result, carbohydrates are superior than fat as a source of fuel. It's more readily available. And our body definitely prefers carbs over fats for a short term fuel source. So if we go in for like something that has a lot of, acquires a lot of energy, running, sports, we might want to use carbs rather than fats. And the last one is carb loading does not seem to be beneficial. Carb loading is mostly in a, in a running marathons. People, that's what people do. They carb load and it seems that it's not always beneficial. Just on some, only in some cases. Actually see that this book is three hours, not an hour and a half. So it is not as short, but still very short. The book, kind of a, not a book, a course, I would say, called a book. But then there's some interesting parts. And it's always good. I always like to learn about nutrition. So I would recommend if you want to have a quick dive into some myths. Thank you.